path to improve and become more simplistic. The phrase, work smarter, not harder, comes to mind. However, as much as technology has improved in most sectors, education has become somewhat of a laggard in its implementation and use of technology. While new technology is trickling into the field of education, one specific area that seems stagnant is the use of online games and simulations. In fact, the mention of using games as means of teaching and assessing could incite riotous debate among teachers. However, upon its initial inspection of games in the online setting, there are numerous psychological factors that make gaming attractive as a teaching and assessing tool. First and foremost, games have permeated society to begin with. Most children and adults spend free time and energy playing various games. These games range from arcade style games to word games to simulated role playing games. In fact, mobile technology allows for constant game play, even allowing for synchronous competition among players in different locations. Secondly, and most importantly, students of all ages are passionate about games. Teachers often cite lack of motivation as a deterrent for learning, but if teachers could tap into passionate topics or means of instruction, students will become highly motivated, stimulated, and ultimately engaged. Project Tomorrow is an organization concerned with implementation of educational technology, educational technology cites some very interesting data to support students' interest in online gaming and simulations. 44% of students in grades 6 through 12 say gaming would make it more interesting to practice problems. Also, 46% of students say they would learn more about a subject if it were presented in a game. While we cannot rely on the feelings of students as a means of what will work and what will not work, it is obvious that students' motivation is a favoring factor in using games as a teaching and assessing tool. Besides student motivation, there are academic reasons for using gaming as well as in the educational setting. Initially, gaming offers participants the opportunity to work in a controlled environment to attain a goal. More than simply working towards a goal, the constructs of online gaming bring together three integral parts of learning. Douglas Thomas and John Seeley Brown contend that student curiosity, imagination, and the sense of play are vital to student learning and generally absent from the traditional textbook and lecture-driven instruction. However, it must be mentioned that the use of online gaming and simulation does not and cannot take the place of content instruction. Online games must be used to promote the use of basic concepts that are inherent to all content areas. Dean Grant, an Australian educator and supporter of games in the classroom states, it's not about what you learn by playing the game, but how the game can be used to foster and query skills. Critical thinking and student learning. The academic benefits go much further than simply learning. Online gaming and simulation require students to apply critical thinking and to work collaboratively or individually to solve authentic challenges. One such example of research-based gaming system in the use of virtual environments. In these environments, students are immersed into simulated world and must use content knowledge and prior experiences to make decisions. Students then analyze the results of their decision through the game. Decisions may result in positive effects. Such examples, examples of these include the popular world of Warcraft and Second Life. One of the more well-known academic-based virtual environments was the computer game titled Oregon Trail. In this game, students use math skills and decision-making processes to get a family through the West in the Pioneer Day. Scientifically, playing games also has the potential to improve brain function and the mood of a person playing the game. According to Bernadette Coleman, a 2005 study in Sweden revealed that the brain training through games alters the dopamine receptors 
improving the brain's ability to retain information and also improving the person's mood as well. Using games that are interesting, fun, and engaging have the potential to produce the best results. While the research into online games and simulations is still very new, it is obvious that the concept has a potential and to change education. Research is still being conducted and is not conclusive as to whether gaming is more effective than the traditional linear presentation of content with paper and pencil assessment. In the meantime, research does support the use of gaming as a model, as a mode of teaching and assessing along with traditional teaching methods. To ensure that you know all the ins and outs of online gaming and simulations, I want to introduce you to the keynote speaker of the day as she delves deeper into the world of gaming and simulation as its ramifications on the world of education. 